As I walk through the galleries and exhibitions of the Australian War Memorial, I can't help but be tremendously moved by the stories of ordinary men and women who fought in conflicts, who wore our uniform from the Boer War through to Afghanistan. There are stories of heroism here to be sure, but there are also stories of ordinary Australians who overcame sheer terror to look after their mates and do a job so that we can enjoy the freedom, rights and privileges which are a hallmark of the Australia we share today. But with freedom, rights and privileges come obligations. Obligations to pause, remember and reflect with admiration and gratitude. The Australian War Memorial for me is not about the glorification of war. It's a place where we're reminded of the horror of human conflict. It's a signpost to the past and to the future, a future made possible by the courage and the sacrifice of Australians who fought and fell. You must visit the Australian War Memorial once in your life. You must. For the passing out to ride the Pukapunyo was a long march from Cadiz. The sixth of ten was the next to two, was they who drew the path. We did Canandra, shoal water before we left. And Townsville lined the footpaths as we marched down to the quay. This clipping from the paper shows us young and strong and clean. And there's me and Miss Loudchat with me as there are dreams. God help me. I was only 19. Can you tell me what it means? God help me. 